Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful pendant. This is done with the beads from the Forest Collection of Beading School by Erica Sandor. If you want to see the whole collection, here it is at the eye icon and down there in description I have links where you could buy all the supplies that I'm using here. And I'm showing really slowly and easy and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make this pendant by yourself. Down there in description I have 10% Bijuteo discount code for items that are not on sale from the website of Bidding School by Erica Sandor. Uh, I also have, as I mentioned, all the list of materials. A short clip of this video where in only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not. This is on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and you might also go there, check it out and subscribe for new inspiration. Down there you will also find a link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are the beads from the Forest Collection of Beading School by Erica Sandor, as I told you. Here I use emerald green beads, uh, 4 millimeters. they are matte, extremely beautiful beads. And these here are 6 mm crystallite opal bicons. Uh, here I use also a bale from my own stash. And also from their website, I'm using this uh, green color 110 Delica beads, and I'll give a link to them as well. These are from my own stash again, Delica beads 110s. You could find a great variety of Delica beads on the website of Beading School by Erica Sandor, and I'll link to all the beads so you could choose the colors you like. And this is Fireline. And it also could be found on the website of Beading School by Erica Sandor. I will give a link in description. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. And now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up on my needle are these beautiful bicons and I'm go going to alternate them. Okay, one green, one crystallite opal, and I have four of each kind, and I'm alternating them. Okay, you see what I have here. And now I'm going to slide those down, just like this. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull. And then I will make one more knot just like this. And now guys I have this. And in my next step what I want to do is go here through one of my bicons. And what I'm going to take here are two green beads, one silver 11 0 Delica and two green Delica beads, okay. And what I do next is that I go back in circle through this bicon, okay. Now I have this. Then what I want to do in my next step is go through these green beads here and go in the center, exit out of this silver bead in the center. And now I'm going to take three more silver beads just like this, you see. And I'm going back in circle through this silver. And in this way, guys, I'm forming a cross of four beads here in the center. Okay, I have this. Then I go here through this silver one in this direction. And I'm going to take two more green beads. And I go through this crystal 
Okay, just like that. Then what I do is that I go back again through these two green beads to the center of my work. Okay. Going here. Then through my next silver. And through my next silver. Okay. Now I need to take two more green 11 0 seed beads and I'm going back through this crystal. Okay, I have this. Then in my next step, I'm going through these two green beads to the center of my work like I did before. And I pull. Then I'm going. I pull tight and I go through this silver bead here. Okay. Then guys, I'm going here through this silver one in this direction. And now I'm not adding any more beads. I'm going straight through these two beads, then through my crystal. In this way, I'm making a new thread path. Okay, through my crystal. And then I'm going back here through this one. And if you can, in one movement, also go through the silver in the middle. Okay. So now I have the center of my work ready. Okay. And what I want to do is exit through one of those bicons. Okay. Here is what I have up until now. And now I'm going to take five of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I'm taking five and I'm going back in circle through this bicon here. Okay. Then I go through the following bicon and exit out of the next emerald four millimeter bicon. Pull tight. And I'm going to repeat this five. Okay, five. Go back here. Pull. And I'm going to do this two more times. Okay, so now I have this. Now in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go here through one of my bicons, just like this. And then I want to go through three of these beautiful silver beads. And I'm pulling. Now I'm exiting of this central bead. I have five here. Two here, two here, and one in the center. Okay, now I prefer to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction. Okay, and what I want to take next are five green beads, one of my bicons, and five more. Okay, I have five, a bicon and five. And now I will aim for the central bead of these five. Okay. And I will continue the same way.
okay and now I have this and what I'm going to do next is add four silver beads here between the green beads okay this is the first one okay you see where it goes the second one and two more in this way i'm also reinforcing the edge here to stay in a better shape okay and now i'm exiting through this bicon and through the first green bead here and what i want to take is one silver one emerald bicon and one silver okay this is what i have and i'm going here through the newly added silver bead and again a silver an emerald and a silver okay and i go through this green one through the bicon and through the green one that's after it okay now this is what i have and here i need a silver an emerald and a silver okay and i go here in the center through this silver again a silver an emerald and a silver and i go here through this seed bead through this crystal and through the next seed bead okay and i'm going to continue this until the end here and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last bicon from this row if you forgot how i'm doing this uh, just rewind the video and see the previous steps and repeat them okay so now what i want to do next is go through this emerald bicon take just one emerald and go through this one here okay now i have this and now i'm going to take seven golden beads uh, seven silver beads sorry okay here i have my seven you see and i'm going through the next silver and then through the bicon okay here guys what i need is one more bicon and i'm going here through the following bicon and through this silver bead then i need seven again oops i took eight it's always good to check how many beads you take okay now i have seven and i go through the following silver and through the bicon okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay and here i just added my last seven beads from this row and now what i want to do is go through four beads in this direction in fact through five beads in this direction because i want to find here the center 
okay here I have one two three beads here I have one two three beads and this is the central one of my seven that I added last in my last row and now I'm going to take six green beads okay I have my six beads here and I'm going back in circle through this central bead and I'm going to reinforce this okay guys and now here I have a loop where later I want to attach my bail okay now here what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm doing this I'm making a loop going once going second time through this loop I made then pull tight and you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread okay I'll see you in a while and show you how to attach your bail okay guys and what I'm going to do next is attach my bail here okay and I have my bail and I will open it up with my pliers okay then what I want to do is put it here at this loop of beads that I did and then what I do is that I squeeze okay I squeeze back and now guys this is what I do and my beautiful forest collection pendant is ready okay guys and now my bicons pendant with the forest collection is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelries to the ones that i have already done and down there in description you will find the fast clip of this video where in only two three minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not so you could check it out and down there in description you will find full list of materials and links where you could buy supplies from a link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me